Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Coffee here. And today we're back with another artist highlight. Today's artist is an artist that I just happened to come across over on Twitch. He apparently is friends with Brooklyn Kaiju and a lot of other streamers that I like to watch over there. So when I found out he had a shop, you guys, look, listen, y'all know how Miss Coffee do support the artist one way or another. So I went over to his shop and bought a few things and he said he added in a couple of goodies. So huge thank you to Anthony Wheeler Art over on Twitch. I will link his Twitch channel, his Instagram, and his shop down in the description box of this video. So if you see anything you might like, please feel free to go over and show him some love. So here we go. We're just going to open this up. Now you guys know I open up from the bottom just because the addresses are on the top. So we got some cardboard in there to protect the stuff. Now... Anthony sells something that Mr. Coffee and I were severely interested in, and I say severely. Um, and it looks like it's right here. First, he has this little character that's his kind of like his mascot. This is Wally. Wally is his little character, guys, is kind of like his logo. And Anthony, for all those folks out there who like to do traditional art, sells this sketchbook. So, oh, there it is. I was looking for it. So I think it's called the real, I, I'm not joking. I think it's called the really awesome sketchbook, okay? I watched him do watercolors in this sketchbook, okay? So it has to be an awesome sketchbook. We'll get to this in a few minutes. But I want to check out the sketchbook because Mr. Coffee, like as soon as Mr. Coffee found out he had a sketchbook, he's like yelling at me. He's like, buy it, buy it now. Mr. Coffee likes traditional and digital. I'm not so strong with traditional. I'm stronger with digital. But I want to practice at doing traditional. So we, I got us each a book. I got me a third book. Don't tell Mr. Coffee, okay? That one's for me. <laughs> that one's mine. So... It's just a normal, it's not a normal sketchbook because it actually opens up from the side, which I love the fact that it opens up from the side and it has the spiral bound so that when you're working on the page, you can fold it back and just work on that page. So this is the super, super awesome sketchbook. Well, those pages feel really good. They don't feel like, like the... They don't feel like they're really thin pages, but okay. All right. Let me go get my pencil. All right. So this is probably going to be a second time that I do this. I'm going to draw something in this super awesome sketchbook because I want to. I'm very interested in drawing in this. Now, again, this one's going to be mine, but I'm not sure if I want to. Uh, yeah, I'm drawing in that one. <laughs> it's too cool not to draw in it. Look how cool that looks. So I'm going to put these two off to the side. And we're going to draw in this one. What am I going to draw? Probably a flower. Let's let's go for let's let's go for a flower. I don't typically draw botanical things, but um got to get out of your comfort zone, folks. That's how you learn. All right. So we're going to bring it down. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. Don't worry. We'll get to the other part of this unboxing here in a few minutes. So I'm going to time lapse you while I attempt to draw this flower. So uh I'll see you when I'm done.
it's just a it's just a little tool. I again, I'm not the strongest at uh traditional. It's been a long time, but I didn't I don't think it went too bad. Now, what I'm doing here was I wanted to test the book because I use alcohol markers and I've seen Anthony actually using this exact book on his Twitch channel because he does live stream. Um, but he usually uses like watercolors or like, I think paint maybe. I don't, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, so I wanted to test alcohol markers. Now I've seen him do alcohol markers on it before, but I don't know what markers he uses. He's an artist. He probably has like Copics or something. Anyways. But I wanted to see this. I wanted to see how bad, bad the bleed was. And as you can see, for as hard as I was working in that pink, it it barely made a smudge. I would suggest, if you get it, to put another page up underneath it. But I have to say, I love the fact that when I was erasing, the paper didn't peel. Meaning, you know how sometimes when you go to erase, the paper will sometimes come up in these little balls. Um, it did not peel. It erased clean. And I, I didn't really have any issues getting that color to sit in the tooth of the paper. Um, it, it's a smoother type paper, so I wasn't sure how it would hold, like, get the stuff in there. Now take it. He's a professional. I'm not. So he knows what he's doing when he makes this. I just wanted to test it out for the stuff that I do. And it seems to have worked great. Um, like I said, there was a little bit of something. But if you turn it over here, look how cute that is. I love it. So, this is his super awesome sketchbook, which you can get on his website. Um, you can either get it in the two-pack, which is the gray pack here, or you can get it single, I believe. So, if you are interested in that, um, again, I will leave that down in the description box of this video. Uh, but that's not what I wanted to show you. This is obviously not Anthony's work. This is just his sketchbook. Um, but I wanted to work in it. <laughs> but... If you want to see Anthony's artwork, he probably thought I, I didn't see it. <laughs> so here is the artwork for Anthony. Anthony is out here living the dream. Alicia, thank you so much. So, so, so much. I... He has really, really pretty handwriting. My eyes can't even adjust. Appreciate and order support kindness and I hope you like everything Anthony. Oh, oh, that's Wally. I was like, what is this on the side? It's Wally. <laughs> so thank you so much, Anthony. Look, look, listen, I'm not all there. Okay. So we did get a couple of prints here. So let's see what we got. And of course, you know, I'm going to have to put this up next to Denzel's Baby Yoda. So we got Baby Yoda. Look how cute he is. We have Harry Potter, because you guys know Orion loves him some Harry Potter. And then we have the entire Harry Potter crew. Look how cute that is. This, I love his art style. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. That's so cool. Hello, there's... There's Yoda. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Grogu. Because I know somebody's going to be like, that's not Baby Yoda. That's Grogu. Grogu, or however you say his name, Baby Yoda. <laughs> but, oh my God, that is so cool. Anthony Wheeler, thank you so much. I feel like I'm missing a picture here, though. I feel like there's something maybe. Let me check to make sure because I don't want to, like, skip over it. No, that's just the two. Okay. Okay. So I need to get some frames for these because uh, one of these is going in Orion's room and then one of these will go in the living room and then these two stay back here with me. <laughs> so again, thank you so much, Anthony. But that's not it because you would have saw me put a book to the side. Anthony Wheeler also has an art book. And you guys know, Miss Coffee collects these, okay? <laughs> um, so Anthony essentially is living his dream. He is becoming a full-time artist i guess he like does illustrations and stuff so that's really cool and he has a family he's one of the few artists that i found that seems to be around my age so i was like all right bet i like this guy already because he's around my age and he's not talking about pokemon so with that not, nothing against pokemon but i don't know all of them okay don't hate on me so let's take a look and see what's inside of his book oh he signed it thank you anthony 
Anthony Wheeler Unusual Subjects Volume 1. Now, I don't know if when Volume 2 is coming out, but I will be getting it. <laughs> so he goes into a little bit about himself and what it took for him to like draw the Frankenstein monster here. So if you would like to pause to read, feel free to do so. Sorry, my sunshine is going away. Oliver and Eugenia. I think that's Eugenia. I love how he gives you a little story with each one of the pictures. I'm going to read this one. I daydreamed a lot as a kid. Yeah, I daydream a lot as an adult. Distant lands, massive battles, dragons and struggle. Dragons, the struggle between good and evil. You know, the usual stuff. As an adult, I still daydream a lot. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Distant lands, massive battles, dragons, and the, str the struggle between good and evil. You know the usual stuff. Oliver and Eugenia, Oliver's fiercely loyal dragon, are ready to start a journey to avenge his fallen father and the kingdom from the evil that lurks at the top of the mountain. I love the fact that he has like a story for these. Oh, look at this one. He kind of breaks it down and like zooms in for you. That's so cool. I love the colors. I want to say that's watercolor. It looks like watercolor. I'm starting to get good enough to notice watercolors. He did one with a fox, you guys. Oh my God, I'm, I'm like dying. I'm waiting for him to put that fox up. I gotta go check now that I unboxed it. <laughs> the girl and the cardinal. Original idea I had of drawing a cute little Victorian era girl and fantastically grotesque monster, but it wasn't coming together. After erasing the monster the 12th time, I decided to draw a giant cardinal instead. It shifted what was going to be something creepy, a somewhat creepy piece into something much, sorry, the kids are walking in front of the doorbell, into something much warmer and sweet. Now it's one of my favorite little paintings. That is adorable. <laughs> Oh, snap. Oh, snap. We got the Ninja Turtles. Look, that just took me back to my childhood just now. <laughs> I just had a flashback. Hildur and Battle Owl. Okay, one, Battle Owl is kick-ass. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> okay, I can't pronounce her name. I want to say it's Hildur. She's a 12-year-old Viking psychopath that, okay, she's already my best friend, that enjoys stabbing. Again, my best friend. The key to drawing her is all about the exaggerated facial features, giant eyes, but tiny dilated pupils, and her cheek-to-cheek -cheek smirk. She's a deranged warrior, and her best buddy is her battle owl, along with his own axe. Look, listen. How do I meet her? <laughs> she, she is my spirit person. All right. So we have a uh, witch in uh, Lingere. <laughs> and I think, I, I want to say this is supposed to be Elvira. Is this Elvira? Look at her little foot. <laughs> y'all, y'all know I'm easily amused. Here we go. We got some more characters over here. I don't know why I sounded like that. I'm sorry. Ralph, the meanest gun-toting, mustache-growing, under undead outlaw the Old West has ever saw. <laughs> this reminds me of something out of uh, Red Dead Redemption. Arthur, it's too soon. The Dobbins family, children, 19 or 1883. I like drawing weird things, okay? Okay? Okay, jeez. If I explain how this came into existence, the combination of search terms I had to put into Google... You would likely notify people, my parole officer, and no one would get volume two of the unusual sus suspects and time any time soon. So let's just keep this one to ourselves. We're going to keep this to ourselves and anybody who watches this video. Don't tell nobody else. Shh. <laughs> oh, that's a cool little character. I like his curly hair. Please tell me that's the sketch you started out with. This is what I mean by artists or magi mus magicians. Oh my God, I can't get my words out. What is this? How did this turn into this? <laughs> this is what I mean. This is what I need. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is that Thor? Excuse me, sir. Sir? Is, <laughs> is that Thor? Asking for my 
faire ça. Hey Wonder Woman, how you doing? <laughs> okay. All right. We have this, this uh, Kung Fu bunny. Samurai bunny, I guess. Because he got a sword. We're going to call him Samurai bunny. Gil? Gil loved being a Boy Scout. He loved wearing the uniform and earring, earning badges. He loved assisting the elderly. He loved service proje projects. He loved digging holes in the forest and planting new trees. Being a Boy Scout was his thing. Little did Gil know that the night in the woods, that night in the woods, being a Boy Scout would be the last thing he would ever do. Oh, jeez, that got dark quick. Was not expecting that. I'm up here thinking is this. And it, he, okay. All right. Let me, oh, geez. Anthony Willard's going to make me need therapy. <laughs> I'm going to need therapy after this. Okay. Love the mushroom. Makes me think of uh, Kelly Maldonado art. And love the little Wednesday Adams girl. She's adorable. The colors he uses are amazing. See, okay. The devil and the dress. I generally pencil pretty loose, pretty loose, which is, you know, why you see all the squiggles. And don't overthink things. That's one of us. I don't worry about keeping the sketch clean and getting the lines perfect or in getting art finished. I get the forms, shapes, volume, and some features figured out and then jump right into the inking. The inking is what you saw me do where I did the pencil, for those folks who don't know. Um, where he, I did the pencil and then I did the line art pen on top of it and then I erased the pencil. This is, they call it inking as, uh, whenever you're drawing and then you're getting ready for, for the coloring phase. Um, I make a lot of people, I make a lot of decisions in the inking phase to edit bad lines or, or add details. People often ask what happens if I screw up during the inking phase. Generally, I can fix most issues when I can't. I don't sweat it. Time to start over and learn from my mistakes. You got some life lessons in here, Anthony. All right. Now, now I, apparently the next page is my therapist. Um. Okay. I was about to say, what the hell? Oh, my God. I think it's Joker. So we have Batman. And I want to say this is Joker. If it's not, it just scared the crap out of me because I was like, how is his face turned? It's turned this way, y'all. It's perspective is turned this way oh my jeez, y'all <laughs> hey you guys the goonies is the best movie of all time there is no disputing it's just fact because i love this movie so much making this piece took a long time i had to get all the details just right from the research the actual baby ruth candy bar wrapper from 1985 to the actual style of nike shoe chunk war to well to the well-worn Superman symbol on sloth shirt. Anytime this piece display is this piece displayed at an event, I'd hear "Hey, you good?" about fifty times a day, and it's wonderful. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I I I think the last time I seen the Goonies was like five years ago. I made the kids watch it. I think they liked it. Okay, one, Medusa is one of my favorite characters of all time. Two, um, is she ghosting home dude over here? Is Does he know what's going on with all this? Uh, I got questions. Medusa is one of my favorite characters, and yet she is one character that I cannot draw. I can draw the body. I can't get the snakes down. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I can't. I just can't. Um, I'll try again one day, but I absolutely love this picture, and she's pregnant. And she, I guess she's leaving her baby daddy over there with the birds. Uh, she's like, this is for the birds. <laughs> okay, I want to, is this Wally? Like, is this like the adult version of Wally? Asking for, for asking for myself at this point. Because look, he got the little Wally symbol. Wally. The original concept, editing, so much editing. <laughs> Yeah, when he says he draws loose, again, all the scribbles where it looks, some of it has detail, some of it doesn't, and then he gets to this phase and you're like, how? How the hell, how the hell did you do that? Now, I'm not going to read everything in the book because if you would like to know what's in here, you can either pause to read it or buy it yourself. It's on his website. Waiting for snow. Oh, come to North Dakota. We got all the snow. We just had a blizzard like two weeks ago. 
Sure, right now it's like 70 degrees, but you won't have to wait long, bunnies. An early concept of Ralph and the Rocky Bottom Gang. Sketched during Inktober, I had maybe drawn Ralph one other time at this point and hadn't defined his look yet. Every drawing of his of a character is an opportunity to further refine and define. This is just a step closer in the right direction. Now I want to start playing the rest of the Rock Bottom Gang. Well, that's cool. <laughs> I struggle with scale. <gasps> is that it with his hands? Is it that it with hands next to Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice is my absolute favorite, but of course I love Johnny Depp too, so I love Edward Scissorhands. And uh, yeah. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Oh, we got Hellboy. We got Hellboy. We got Hellboy. Mm, I can't remember the guy's name, but he's from Hellboy. Tortoise and the Fairy. Now that one I'm not gonna read. If you wanna if you wanna read it, you gotta buy the book or pause and read it in between my hand motions. <laughs> but that's super cute. I love her little colorful hair and this grass on the turtle's back. Or the tortoise. I'm sorry, the tortoise. An early concept of Hildred. Look at her, she got blood all over her face. An early concept of Hildred and her Viking crew. I love the idea of pairing her up with these larger, more muscle-bound Vikings, yet she's the one we need to be afraid of. It's always the little ones. It's always the little ones. We got Batman, we got the Penguin, and we got... Is this supposed to be Harley Quinn? Maybe? I think that's Harley Quinn. I want to say it's Harley Quinn. The only reason why I can't tell if it's Harley Quinn or not is because it doesn't have the pink and blue hair. But the outfit screams Harley Quinn. If it's not Harley Quinn, I'm sorry. I don't know who that is. But he looks cool. We got Batman and Robin. I'm, sure I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to know who that is, but I don't. I don't know who that is either, if that's supposed to be somebody. I like this little jack-o'-lantern weird, like green guy he's cool looking what's up with the what's up with the jack lantern though i don't know if you know this dude but it's may so we got wolverine oh my gosh you're gonna sit up here we got wolverine wolverine who that is okay so you have x-men okay um oh my gosh what is the guy's name it's it's killing me because it's right on the tip of my tongue I can't think of his name. The guy that turns into steel. Oh my god. Are these supposed to be both Wolverine? Because the hands are bleeding over here. But he doesn't have the facial hair. Facial hair here. But he has the facial hair there. I don't know. It's, it's X-Men and I love it. I'm here for it. Oh, we have Deadpool! And is this supposed to be Stanley? Is, is this Stanley? With Deadpool on his back? <laughs> Please tell me. That I, got, I'm, I literally am going to message him to see if this is Stan Lee. Because <laughs> that would be cool. The boxer. And he got, he got the Abe Lincoln over here. I was going to read that. But I was like, no, y'all got to read some of that for yourself. We got these pumpkin fighters over here. This one has a scythe. And then this one has a sword and a staff. We got pregnant pumpkin mama. Look, she got little little babies. She already pregnant again. Hopefully this is her husband out here uh, killing people with a sword in their eye. We got Harry Potter and Voldemort. <laughs> Voldemort. <laughs> mm, is that Doctor Who? I've never seen Doctor Who, so don't come at me, okay? Don't don't come for me. I don't know who Doctor Who... I know who Doctor Who is, but I've never seen this show, okay? Um, that's that guy with the two faces on his on his head. I don't know his name. <laughs> he has a nose, so I know it's not Voldemort. Voldemort doesn't have the nose. Is that Hermione? <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I... Oh, my God. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Is that Professor Snipe? I'm pretty sure I didn't say that correctly. Jeez, I'm, don't don't tell Becky, okay? Becky will have a fit. And then this is the big picture that you just saw. 
that I have the art print of the Weasleys. <laughs> Don't ask me to do stuff on the spot, y'all. I get nervous. And then the Bad People Crew. Hold up, where's that lady with the nice pink sweater? That really mean lady with the pink outfit. She was like always in pink. There she is, there she is. You you knew I was gonna ask, didn't you? You knew I was gonna ask, there she is right there. These are all the teachers. Dumbledore. <laughs> why, why Maggie always got her face all scratched up like that? What we got here? Um. Can't say that I can call recall who those are those folks are, but it's a really colorful picture. I like it. We got a lightning bolt guy, but then this guy's got sand all over the place. Is this Tiger King? Asking for myself. Just joking. Oh, that's cool. That's Batman. That's all the bad guys from Batman. My favorite bad guy, Poison Ivy. Yes, love Poison Ivy. Um, sorry, I had the hiccups. John Hamm. Animals in suits wielding weapons just seems to work for me. Especially pigs. Okay. Okay. If it works for you. A loving couple. Uh. Anthony? Um. Okay. I'm fascinated by old Victorian culture and the all the, excuse me, weirdness that comes with it. A fade that became a fad that became popular in the mid 1800s was creating headless photo photos using double negatives, and some creating creative editing. When I stumbled on this strangeness, I couldn't resist coming up with my own take. Somebody uh, go check on Anthony Wheeler's uh, Google history, okay? Um, yeah, we're gonna check on his Google history. He likes, he likes the things, all the things. I like this, the bearded lady. This is like circus people. Elephant feet, this elastic kid, cat kid, strong guy, double header. That's not their names, that's just what I'm calling them. <laughs> Who are you? I got a little owl on his back. <laughs> a little zombie. If you, uh, I want to say if you follow... I want to say either if you follow, subscribe, or cheer a thousand bits, a zombie that kind of looks like this comes off the screen at Twitch, and he kind of like makes his face at you. Um, so yeah, so there's that. So that is the flip through of Anthony Wheeler's Unusual Suspects Volume 1. If you would like to get your own copy of this book, it is over on his website. Go check him out. He also has art prints over there, which I'm going to go see if he finally put up that fox yet because I've been wanting it really bad. And with that said, huge thank you to Anthony Wheeler. Thank you so much for the beautiful prints, the book, the sketchbooks. Uh, I know I ordered these, but oh my gosh, the work that you put into these is incredible. I'm here for it. You guys go support another artist that I found. Show him some love. Tell him Miss Coffee sent you. And I will again link his Twitch channel his Instagram, and his his um, print shop down in the description box of this video. But with that said, I got to get out of here before I jumble up any more words or get the hiccups again. So thank you so much for watching. Any Again, hit that subscribe button and the bell if you are new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this. And until next time, stay safe, stay caffeinated, stay crafty, and always try to remember to be kind to others, be courteous, and be cool. Bye, guys.